Today is the day that I think most people building a van kind of dread. You know, there's there's quite a lot of anxiety involved. Uh, we are going to start drilling holes in, our, in the side of our van to do the bunk windows today. Cutting big holes <laughs> in the side. But we have to do it today, even though it's 20 degrees Fahrenheit out, because our neighbor is gonna let us use the back of his store to actually glue the windows in place. So we wanna get them cut first so we're not taking up too much of his time. Our first order of business is we gotta get rid of these ribs because the bunk window is gonna go somewhere right in there. We're not 100% sure where we're gonna put them yet. I have a pretty good idea. Hopefully I won't screw this up because if I do, I have a giant hole in the side of the van and insurance is not gonna like that. <laughs> These are just spot welded on here, so I'm just going to try to chisel it off. I'm going to try to be extra careful with this because the van skin, even though the window is going to go right here, it's not going here and I want to make sure that I'm not messing up the actual skin of the van because you will see that on the outside if I damage it. Nice job. Are you cutting towards yourself? Yeah. Hey, uh, kids, if you're watching, don't be like Brian. Listen, people can preach all they want about not cutting towards yourself. It's easier. But and it's, I would more, rather, it's dangerous. I would rather gouge my chest than cut my finger. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you? Okay, that's I mean. Okay. <laughs> so if anybody's wondering where we got these, uh, templates from. They don't come with templates, so Brian spent a lot of time figuring out and well. Yeah, I don't know if I have it figured out, but <laughs> I'm making a, a template. I made a couple different versions. I'm hoping it works. It wouldn't cost them very much to send a template with the windows. Mm -hmm. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna drill a hole for a reference because this is not even. It's, you know, sitting kind of a little bit crooked. It's just the way they put stuff together. And we want it to make it look good from the outside. So I'm just gonna drill a little, a little hole here and use that as like my measurement for where I need things to be. <laughs> ah! <laughs> First hole. Puts us at right there. I think it was two and three quarters. We wanted to go a little bit higher, but the side of the van kind of curves in and we're not sure if we can, right when it gets to this point, it really starts to curve in. So we're thinking that maybe we won't have enough urethane to seal the window up. Just gonna draw a reference line on it. I kind of drew a straight edge because it's straight. It's supposed to be straight, right? <laughs> How's that look? I wonder if I should tape this down. Probably. I needed my camera woman, so <laughs> this didn't just magically appear. She <laughs> helped me. The worst possible thing would be to get too small of a hole because it's really hard to take off a little bit of material. So I'd rather have it be a, just slightly bigger because I can fill it full of urethane, but I'm trying to get it perfect. I think that looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Don't you? Yeah. Okay. What's next? Well, next I'm gonna drill some holes. Ooh. <laughs> big enough to get my jigsaw blade in. And once I get the holes drilled, then I can jigsaw. I might take the template off so I don't damage it. Cross my fingers. Hopefully it works. You look cold, mama. I'm freezing, I can't feel my hands. They're so cold. I am gonna put up some plastic. So when we start drilling the holes, the shavings don't go everywhere. Just gonna put a little pilot holes first. I'm so nervous. <laughs> you have no idea. I do. 
So we ended up putting way more tape on this thing because it was throwing chips everywhere and I don't want to damage the paint or get rust down the road. So we uh, kind of overdid it on the tape, but... Better to overdo than to underdo. Better to overdo than it is to underdo. That's what I always say. That's, <laughs> that's what she always <laughs> says. <laughs> Well, that really sucked. <laughs> that is just as bad as everybody says it is. <laughs> you did good. Oh my God, we got a hole in the van. The test fit. We get it first shot. I do. That feels pretty good. Good. That's that's always a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright kids, one, two, oh my god, what are you thinking? <laughs> you did a good job. Yeah, I, they turned out good. Um, it's hard to cut it with a jigsaw, that's for sure, but I think some people use a body saw, like an air saw. I guess that would probably work, but I don't have the air for it, so we're kind of stuck with the jigsaw anyway. But it turned out good. I think they're, they're going to fit in there well. So today was cut the bunk windows. We were going to put this window in over here today also, but we haven't got our suction cups yet to hold the window. They're supposed to show up today, but it's almost 3 o'clock and they're not here yet. So uh, we don't want to cut this hole out and it's supposed to snow tomorrow. So uh, we don't want to cut this hole out and then not have our suction cups to put our window in. So we're going to wait. We're going to wait on this one. But for now, I think we're going to prime the rest of these and then we'll throw the windows in tomorrow. Good job. Tomorrow. wondering why I have these Carhartt overalls on, it's not to go check the cattle. It's to go work on the van because it's eight degrees out. Day two. It is, what's the, what's the temperature? It is 15 and feels like three. 15 feels like three. So we are going to go outside and Brian is going to cut the big hole in the sliding door uh, to put our window in later today. It's cold. Let's do this. Checking the heat on the heat gun. The door is so hot that it burns the paint, but I need it warm enough to melt this frost so we can get our yeah. tape to stick. I don't know if you can tell, but there's frost. Blow dryer probably works better for this. <laughs> <laughs> Off to rob a bank or what? <laughs> I had to upgrade my clothing, it's cold. <laughs> This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it does suck. I'm cold. We just spent an hour taping the outside of the door and putting cardboard around it so we don't get any metal shavings on the paint. <sighs> so now we're gonna take our drill and I'm just gonna go around the inside rib. That way I know where our rib is from the outside because I have to cut it from the outside. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's how we're gonna mark it out instead of trying to make a template and all that. It's already kind of cut out for us. So mm -hmm. we're gonna. We're gonna try it that way. <laughs> now I kind of hand drew my radiuses. Overall, I think it looks pretty good. What you doing? Freezing to death. <laughs> it's not so bad in here. It's not bad in here. I'm gonna tape up some plastic. So we don't get it. I'll take my gloves off. <laughs> Keeping the chips from getting down here. Yeah, we shot backed it, obviously, from what you saw. Here we go. That's a hole. That's a hole. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> Woo. I'm going to rough this up with some Scotch-Brite and then I'm going to start filing. Okay. 
and then we should, you the want to take back. the shop vac and just clean it up real yep. quick thankfully our neighbor has this store here and he's letting us use the back side of it so we can park the van in warmth <laughs> since it's so cold out and we're supposed to get five inches of snow tonight and the window glue can't get wet for 72 hours so ryan you're a godsend thank you for letting us use this we appreciate it let's get started covered these up last night because we didn't want birds getting in <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty cold i don't think there were birds to be no birds yeah what about squirrels maybe squirrels mice the abominable snowman yeah just putting a little primer on so our urethane adhesive will adhere so while we're doing this i'm just gonna do my cut edge here Cut the end off, and then we're gonna we're gonna cut a little V in it. I got it. So cut a little V bead in it like that. That way, when I put it on there, hopefully it'll come out right. Time to lay some cock. Okay. Why don't you tell me your thoughts on the bunk windows? Terrible, don't ever do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they look good. They look great. <laughs> but yeah, that was, it was. So when you, when you tap them in, nobody mentions that the metal flexes so much that it doesn't seat. <laughs> so we figured out after the fact that one of us has to hold the metal and the other one has to tap it. And then it'll stick together, we hope. For now, we're gonna do the other window. But first we gotta put this stuff it's like a little edging on there to make it look a little better on the inside after it's done. So. Now, this is gonna be a pain to start because I gotta go over two layers. Start in the middle. Should have brought your glasses. My spectacles? Your bifocals. <laughs> you could see what you were doing. <laughs> it's freaking me out. <laughs> like, is the, is the van it's moving? moving. My good mallet is at work. So. We're gonna use dad's mallet from 1972. <laughs> Anybody is wondering what I'm doing here? I am simply here for moral support. I'm not doing much. Doing plenty. I'm, I'm, I'm cleaning plenty. and handing him things. Taping, you're doing stuff. Mm. Well, it's New Year's Eve. What do you want to do tonight? Put on sweatpants and sit on the couch. I am down fat. <laughs> oh, you can clean. Yeah. You're really good at that. You should try that at home. Yeah. 
have a cleaning fairy at home. Uh huh. Welcome to Life on the Blacktop, where we put in windows. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> don't ever ask us to do this, ever. <laughs> that was a deal. That was way easier than the bunk windows. The bunk way windows easier. were hard. Oh, this has been quite the project. There she is, folks. Ooh. Yeah, if you build vans like for a living and you've done multiple, kudos to you. This, is, this has been really stressful. It has been. Well, one more project in the books. Good job. Good job. Hey guys, it's me. 